Welcome to part 3 of the block tutorials. In the previous two tutorials I've discussed how to use blocks to change the layout and the feel of your website. Part 2 covered permissions, who or which members and which groups can see which blocks. And part 3 is to talk about how some blocks you can control their contents. Primarily in this video tutorial I'm going to be focusing on the game server block and the reception block. Now to make things easy and I would, su I would suggest to all you webmasters that have nuke sites follow this procedure because it just makes the workflow so much easier. Um, use two browsers. Uh, the reason for this is because you can store two separate uh, cookies etc and you can be logged in to the site with two different usernames etc. Uh, for example in Firefox I'm logged in as the uh, administrator and my username is tutorial in Internet Explorer I'm simply a guest a standard user, a visitor uh, no administration functions, no membership permissions just simply can browse the site um, the first block we shall play around with will be the game zone block. So first of all before we make any changes let's just have a quick look at the block itself. Uh, the block consists of uh, IP address which if you have the Q tracker plugin installed when you click there it will automatically load the game and connect you to the server. We have the name of the server, we have a picture of the map that's currently in use together with the map name we have a player list and player amounts. This server for some reason always is full. It's a very popular Call of Duty server. Uh, furthermore, if you click on the image, it will take you through to a more detailed page where we can see you know the status is online, type it's Call of Duty 4, map, players, oh it's just lost a player, 48 or 49. You see the query port, connection port we can even see the players pings and players scores it's you know it displays quite a lot of information as well as uh, the actual settings the uh, the configuration file on the server uh, we can see the version number uh, game type uh, svmax ping and so forth lots of useful information especially if you own the server you know you don't need to load up Archon or anything else you can just simply use this from your website and see what's happening on your own game server. The second block we'll be playing around with is the reception block here. We can actually control what's shown to people. Uh, we can choose whether or not we wish to decide to show new members today, yesterday etc, the most ever online current online stats, online members and IP addresses. We uh, can even control if we want that pop-up to appear. Um, to start with, let's play around with the game zone server block. In Firefox, as I mentioned, I'm logged in as, a, as admin, so I'm going to go to the admin control panel. We control the game stuff from the LGSL icon here. Now we can add or remove servers in here at the moment. We can see the Call of Duty 4 server, the IP, the connection port, canary, uh, query port, and which zone we wish to put it in. You can see there's eight different zones. That means that you can have eight, uh, sorry, there's nine, including zero. You can have nine different blocks displayed on your page. If you have nine different servers running, then you can have nine different blocks. Nine should be more than enough for any clan. Uh, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to find a random server. Some game tracker. Oh, coincidentally, I think I should also show you guys as well the, the list of supported games here. Uh, Alien vs Predator, Battlefield 1942, Battlefield 2, Battlefield 2142, Battlefield Vietnam, Call of Duty, all the way through to Call of Duty 4. 
Command and Conquer Ren Renegade. You can see the list: Doom Free, Frontlines, Half Life, Medal of Honor, Painkiller. Awesome game. The Quake series, Soldier Fortune, Unreal Tournament. Pretty much anything based on the Q3 game engine. Um, I think we'll find a Battlefield 2 server. And we'll just find a Battlefield 2 server at random. There we go, this is the information we want. We want the IP. We'll copy, paste the IP. And we need the port. If you're unsure of the query port, put the same as the connection port. Next thing we need to do is update servers and empty cache. Now, when we view our home page in Internet Explorer, we need to refresh. Well, that has to happen, doesn't it? Okay, let's try removing the query port. There we go. Didn't need a query port. We have all the stats. Player list. Score, deaths, ping, the team and the skill level. There's actually more stats displaying here for the players in Call of Duty 4. And then we've got the server config files too. The actual settings that are running on the server. Back on the home page we'll now see the block working. We refresh and there's the block it's a 64 man server it's currently 63 or 64 so that's how easy it is to customize that particular block you can obviously only change the content you can't change the layout etc but it's you know still very very functionable um, there's something else worth mentioning as well if you click on the server viewer module page if you do have 20 different servers in your clan for argument's sake you can have all 20 being displayed in a long list along this page and then you just click here to see the full statistics this is only real-time reporting it's not actually kill death ratios or anything like that it does not save any of this uh, information to the database if you want something like that look for a separate statistics system there's several available for Battlefield 2 and Call of Duty 4 and all the popular games most are free as well I will at some point add these statistics systems to the download section on clan site uh, there is a Call of Duty 4 statistics system there already okay so that's the game zone block next we're gonna play around with the reception block now I haven't re rehearsed, I should have really rehearsed before doing this so I hope everything goes well. Uh, the reception block uh, can be found, I can't remember, 